Hi guys, so today I have a few uh, new items to share with you from Diamond Press. These are now available on HSN. Um, of course, they're brought for the August 23rd craft day. So I have a few different things here. These were sent free of charge for my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're to purchase items through those links. So thank you guys for using those if you uh, would like. Um, so I have, yeah, so we have the, um, I'm just, where do I start? Because <laughs> I do have a few things here, <laughs> if you can tell. Um, the Diamond Press Alphabet dies called Spooky Alphabet. And I grabbed these things uh, specifically because it sounded like we can put these together and have some, some fun. So that's what I'm going to do here. I have embossing folders, slimline embossing folders here, and I have rhinestone kits. And what I love about this is that they're rhinestone and pearls. Um, so we'll check that out in just a second. But, oh, so cute. Okay, so this is the Spooky Alpha, and I think they might be calling it Halloween Alpha there on um, HSN, but what I want to do is measure them, of course, and then point out that they're not super, super Halloween, you know what I'm saying? You can use this for anything else. It has, like, little curlies. I don't even think, it reminds me of, like, the font that they use for, like, um, what's that? Elf on a Shelf? kind of thing you know it has like little curly cues but let's see uh this is like one and a third inch tall i would say almost one and a half yeah about one and a third and then the widths are obviously gonna be different with the different letters but you know again about one quarter ish you know this m is obviously a little bit wider oh what not a quarter what am i talking about <laughs> three quarters inch sorry on the width on that one and this one's about one inch wide but yeah but these are about one and a third tall so you have your alphabet and, and numbers which is really great really really nice so I'll put those to the side for now and these were kind of popped open so let me bring these out these are the two different this one's not quite open yet hold on um, this one embossing folders called petals and this one is I should probably should have looked at the package for talking about this is a harvest so let me put these to the side for now so we can look at these Again, this one is petals. Oh, so cute. So this one has like a little vine. How sweet is that? Just to add that little texture in the background. Gonna be awesome. So again, slimline and the plastic itself measures four by nine and three quarters, but what it does on the inside is gonna be more for a slimline, like a three and a half um, by eight and a half. And then, oh, look at this little one. <laughs> so sweet. The little branch and the little birdies kind of just hanging around there. Let me try to get a little bit closer. Maybe we can get some less glare. I don't know. But at least a little bit closer. <laughs> so sweet. Um, and with their uh, embossing folders, whenever you put your paper down, you want the top of the paper, like what you want to actually see, to be facing up into this blue or teal color. So very easy to use that way. The little rainbows. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Look at that. And then the butterflies, of course, classic. Love that. Again, this one is called Petals. Oh, I thought my light was going to move. Sometimes my ring light um, just moves around on me all of a sudden. <laughs> so I was listening out for that. We have the little hearts. Super cute. And you can even put a piece of paper in here that's smaller than this, the slim line. Like, let's say you want to mat a three and a half by, uh, let's say, four and three quarters. Like, if you're going to mat this into, like, a... A two size card you can cut your paper down and pop it in there or if you want to use this for a mini slim line just go ahead and cut your paper to six inches and pop it in there it'll still do the three and a half by six you know however you want to use it and then we have this one here with all the little kind of doodle flowers super cute so again that's petals and then this is harvest i believe is what i said love 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 the sunflowers look at that I'm going to hold it sideways a little bit for you guys, but... And again, you you can orient it long ways. It can be oriented this way on your card, however, that so you want to use it. This plaid. So cool. You can see that there. Great background texture. Uh, the leaves, again, another classic, really nice background. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And in the same one, oh, yes, okay, they have um, a couple that are, I would say, more Halloween, like this here, with the little skulls in the, like, what do you call it, damask brocade, some kind of cool pattern back here. How pretty is that? 
with the skulls in there. I love it. Oh, and the little pumpkins all along this piece here. And the little wheat. Oh, that's, that's, I don't know that I usually see wheat and things like that. That's really cute uh, design. And then these spider webs with the little spider hanging down there. So cute. All right, so that is Harvest. And let's check out these guys. Where's my... They brought so many cute things. Um, Rose's Rhinestone and Pearl Kit in Jewels. And this is Jewels. And then I'll leave this one in the box so I don't mix myself up here. But this one's called Holiday. So let's look at Jewels first. So you guys, I keep these right behind me on this... Um, Sorry, right behind me here on my shelving unit and I just whenever I you know need my rhinestones pearls I just pop and grab those <laughs> real quick because they're really easy access right behind me here uh, within arm's reach and just pop them on whatever project so really really great so again this one's called jewels all right so let's start on this day probably saw a few as I went by it's kind of a lime kind of more of a pastel green it has a lime tone but it's more pastel um, the bright yellow, half pearls, and then this time, uh, sometimes they have like different inserts where it's like larger, smaller, and smaller um, sizes. And this one, it goes from large to medium to small, all in the same sheet, which is really nice. You have that purple, a little bit deeper than lavender, a fuchsia color or hot pink. Oh, this is pretty. It's like a really deep, deep green. Got that sapphire blue going. Lovely. A deep, deep purple, and maybe I can compare it to like this one. Hopefully you can kind of see the difference. This one's more like a royal, like just plummy, beautiful, <laughs> deep purple. This one's more of a light pastel -y kind of purple. And then gold. And then it starts over here with the rhinestones, and these are really cool. I don't know that I have gold half pearls. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really nice. And these are rhinestones in that same kind of gold tone. It looks so pretty as you can see through here. It looks very peacockish. You see the gold, the purple, the teal back there. And then that beautiful purple. And then it goes into... I said teal because of the blue and the green, but it's uh, kind, of a, kind of a soft blue. Bright green. That fuchsia. There, that's good. And then this beautiful purple, but it has a very clear... I always want to say periwinkle, but periwinkle, is it more blue than purple? I always say the wrong name for that one. Uh, this one's a very soft pink, like a very soft blush of pink. Hope you can kind of see that. The yellow is a little bit bright, but not as... Um, do we see a yellow? No. Uh, not super bright. Almost pastel-y if it was in a rhinestone, you know? And then like a peridot type green, very soft. Really pretty. So again, that's jewels. And let's look at holiday. Aw, what was the case on this one? Both very floral and pretty. And well um, encased there, so they arrived looking real nice. So again, so this is the holiday. It goes from like a really pretty blue like where the other one was more royal like deep this one is just like brighter you see what I'm saying a uh, light blue very soft very nice for like snowflakes and things like that those kind of scen snow sceneries we have brown almost like a copper brown very pretty okay so when I said the copper and I turned to this one this one's more coppery I don't know if you can see the difference there but this one is a little bit more brown this one's more of a copper look okay and then this one is kind of a different, I think, shade of gold than maybe this one. Let me see. Yeah. This one's more of a yellow gold. I know it's hard to see. <laughs> there you go. This one's a slightly different tone. And then a, kind of a mossy green. Very pretty. Oh, a bright red, of course. Love it. Love those two together. Oh, so pretty. Um, more of a yellow kind of mustardy gold. And then, ooh, these are cool. 
These are kind of like gray. I mean, so, I mean, they don't look like pearl to me, like just like a white. They look almost grayish. That's really cool. I know, I think the camera's picking up a little bit more white than I see in real life, but there it is. And um, so like a silvery gray. And then these are just clear rhinestones. Again, the silver kind of look. Um, you guys know I love these because you can just color them with an alcohol ink marker and make them any color that coordinates with whatever it is that you're working on. So that's always really fun to do. You just color it right on top and it just stays on because alcoholic markers will stay on pretty much anything. Uh, we have this guy here. This is like a yellow gold rhinestone. Uh, just a beautiful ruby ruby rhinestone there. Faux rhinestones and faux pearls is what it says. Um, a green that's uh, deeper than um, that peridot green that we saw in the last kit but a little lighter than that bright green that the last kit had. Almost like a minty. The way the camera's picking it up. But what I see here in real life it's very a little more of a dusty green. Oh, look at this one. That's so pretty. So I, you know, I look at this and I'm like, it's citrine, but no, citrine's more yellow, isn't it? This is a really pretty color. <laughs> it's uh, more of a mossy green, I guess. Has a little yellow flex in there. And then this one, again, more coppery. <laughs> okay. Kind of, I was going over the other one. And this one's more of a brown. And it has almost like a green tone in looking at the camera, but there you go. That light blue and that um, deep blue. This one I would say is like a cobalt kind of blue. So pretty. So I'm going to do is uh, grab some papers and we'll put something together. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm going to do like a little Halloween card. Tis the season. <laughs> do those sentiments go together? Tis the season? I don't know. Um, so I have a piece of heavyweight cardstock here. Um, it's pretty heavyweight. So you want to test out your cardstock. Sometimes lighter cardstock does better. You know, this one's, I think, 300 GSM. And I cut it down to three and a quarters by eight and a quarter. Ooh, you don't want to spray that. I was going to spray it with water, and this is um, stamp cleaner. Let's put that away. <laughs> so I'm going to give a little spritz of water just to kind of help break up the, um, the fibers here. I'm going to give it a little zhuzh. And just let that water kind of get in there. It doesn't have to be sopping wet. Just a little moisture. And let that get in there. I'm going to use this guy, of course. So again, I cut this a little bit smaller, three and a quarter by like eight and a quarter. I'm going to run that through. And I think I'm going to do something fun that I, we'll see. Oh wow, so pretty. Look at that. So cool. So, I want to take a little, um, sorry, so I want to get some gilding wax. And since I paused, I went ahead and grabbed it. <laughs> so, I'm going to put down this mat. I don't want to get too much on my mat. Gilding wax really does want to stick to everything. So um, this mat's going to protect my surface, but at the same time, I don't really want this staying on the mat forever. So I'm going to put this on here. Because what you do with gilding wax is you kind of dab your finger into it. And this one happens to be, I don't know, what color is this? Empire gold. I just grabbed one. I have several different types of gold, but gold, gold. And what happens is you want to tap some of that off as you're using it. So you don't want it to just be clumped up on your finger because when you go to play, apply it to your uh, project it's really going to just have a big old clump so you kind of tap it off and I didn't want to tap it off on my mat because I know it's going to want to stick so I'm just very lightly going to go over my project here I'm using like the lightest touch and maybe too light but that's how it is this stuff also kind of has a strong smell you guys so if you're very sensitive and you have some just you know open up some windows before you really <laughs> open that up but I'm just going to go over it just like that. Maybe add a little bit more, but as you can see, it's making all that stuff pop. So I'll just go through. Really just kind of tap that off. And I'll just work it a little bit faster now that I've kind of gotten into the rhythm of using it. Super cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll be back once I'm happy with the application that I put on this. Okay. So clean that up. Like I said, this stuff really wants to stick, so I went ahead and used a little bit of alcohol and wiped down whatever got on my mat and whatever was on this. Just that little bit that was sitting there, it's really hard to clean up. So just uh, make sure it's used on something that you can clean very well right after or tossable. A lot of times I'll put it on like, um, 
you know, packaging plastic or, you know, whatever came off of like this packaging, just dip your finger on there and just toss it. Uh, okay, so I have a standard, um, I call it standard slim line here, eight and a half by three and a half, so it's eight and a half by seven. We're going to score it at three and a half. Oop, I just noticed I did something different the second time. There we go. <laughs> Alright, yeah, then leveled off there, that's fine. So what I'm going to do, I think, oh, look how cool it looks even on the back, the deboss side. Super cool. We have this guy, and I think just to be a little fun, I'm going to rip this. <laughs> that's kind of why I was saying earlier, I'm like, mm, let me do something, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to tear this just for funsies, and try to make it like a rough tear, kind of like what I'm doing here. Okay. And then down here too. And I'm just gonna trying to think of where I want to put this tear. Grab that there. Kind of the same way. Just have fun with it. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna stick that down quite yet. Okay, I'm going to find something I think to pop in back there. We'll see. I will be right back. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to pop some uh, stickers back there. And I was looking at these stickers, I'm like, I want something scary. They're all very sweet and cute. <laughs> Little guy, oh. Uh, oh, so scary. <laughs> so cute. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is pop, like, that was going to be stuck down there. And you kind of want to see him through here. That was there. That'd be fun. Okay, so I'll put that guy there. And... Hmm. I'm looking at the little pumpkins or a little spider. Oh, maybe a spider. I'm using, like, the smaller ones. Let's see. Kind of come in here. That's fun. See a little piece of them. And maybe... I'll find one other thing that I can pop back in there and I'll be right back. Okay. So maybe these aren't super scary, but it's fun. So I'm going to glue these down. And, you know, we can play with these torn pieces if you wanted to, like, kind of curl them up or whatever. But I think it looks fun just like that, just ripped and that's fine. And these guys I'm just going to glue down. And then I'll probably come in with the sentiment. Cut from our letters, of course, probably boo. <laughs> But I'll hold this down and then I'll put glue on the back of this one and hold it down just the same on this top part. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to grab my letters here. I'm going to take the B and then two O's. So we're going to cut this one out twice. I just have some gold paper here that I've used previously. I'm just going to cut those out, the marquee, and I'll be right back. All right. Our pieces here. And we can just put that on there. Do it out like this. I like them like that. Super cute. And I was thinking I saw this little piece of scrap, so I was wondering if maybe just to give it some texture, do something fun. Yeah, why not? So I'm going to do stick this here, and then I'm going to stick that to my project. I would like to do something a little weird for Halloween, a little different. <laughs> Let's put the B there, and then I'll put the O wherever it might want to stick. I'm going to let this settle for just a minute before I stick it to my project, okay? Okay, so I'm going to stick that down using some 3D glue gel, but you can put whatever dimensional you want to put on back because uh, see how it has a dimension. So like here I'll put it a little bit flat, there I'll fill it in, here I'll put another good glop. Let's curve that back behind here. I think I'm going to put it a little bit sideways just to be fun. So there goes that. I'm going to hold that just for a second, and I'll be right back. And as that sets up, I'm just going to add some more um, D 
detail here with these guys. I think I'm going to use these half pearls. This is from, right from the jewel set. And not too, too big. I'm going to go with this medium size. I'm trying to think where I want to put these. Sorry, I was just thinking about where I want to place these. Maybe here. Maybe a little spot for those. And maybe down here. All right. Um, just a fun way to use some of these different items. I mean, that embossed beautifully. Add some little stickers in here and there, or lettering, and then just add some details with those uh, half pearls. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have the links in the description box. I'll have some pictures for you at the end here. Thank you so much, Diane Press, for signing these for review. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.